Okay, so going to verse 21. So Jesus said to them again, Peace to you, as the Father has sent me, I also sent you. Again, so repeated the peace thing again. So it's pretty important. Every time that Jesus keeps repeating something over and over, so obviously the apostles were not getting that, and that means that we're also most of the time don't get that. So Jesus keeps repeating. And he says again, peace to you. As the Father has sent me, I also sent you. And when he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. So this is the first um, scripture that I wanted to concentrate on. So he said to them, after he said those things, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. And so, uh, very important to understand the timeline. So many people think that apostles already had the Holy Spirit uh, prior to Jesus' death. And so we see here that this is the first time that this happened. So after Jesus' death, after his resurrection, when he was already glorified, that's when, he, that's when he breathed on them and they received the Holy Spirit. And so this is the salvation. So um, Jesus' breath, when he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit, this was the new birth. So when we get born again, we receive the Holy Spirit. So the second that we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior at new birth, we receive the Holy Spirit. So that's, that's one part, because a lot of people get confused and they mix up, especially the differences between like what Pentecostals believe and what uh, Baptists believe, because like the Baptists stick to the scriptures where they, you know, because Pentecostals say that if you don't pray in tongues, that you don't have the Holy Spirit. And so there are two different things, and we'll, we'll look at different scriptures, but the first part to understand is that when Jesus breathed on them, that was when they got born again. So that was the first time that a, Jesus saw them after his death and resurrection and when he breathed of them and they received the Holy Spirit. That was their new birth. That was when they got born again. So when we get born again, we receive the Holy Spirit. We get that full package. We always talk about that at that point when Jesus comes in, he moves in with the full package. Everything that, that he has, you know, love, joy, peace, everything that, that comes with Jesus, um, in, in his full being, in, in, in his full measure, a new birth comes in inside of us. Does that make sense? Is everybody pretty clear with that? It's important to understand that at new birth, we get the Holy Spirit. And that's one part. So now let's go to Luke 24, verse 49. And we'll go back a little bit. Um, we'll start in verse 46. So again, Luke 24, verse 46. Then he said to them, Thus it is written, and that, thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remissions of sins should be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem, and you are witnesses of these things. Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with the power from on high. Okay? So, two different situations here. So, one time when he came into the room, when he saw the apostles, he breathed on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. That's one event. And then as he's leaving, he gives them the great commission, and then he tells them that after I leave, go into the room and wait till the power upon high comes upon you. So you guys see that it's a, it's a different event. So they, at that point, they were not baptized with the Holy Spirit. So there is the new birth, and then there is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's two different events. So when we get saved... We receive the Holy Spirit at our new birth. 
but we don't get baptized with the Holy Spirit. Baptism with the Holy Spirit. Now, a lot of people get that at the same time, and you don't have to wait, but I just want to see that there's a separation, that, that's two different events, two different things are happening. One was the new birth, and one was the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So he commanded, so, um, so some people say that what I read in, in John 20, 21, is that's the part where, well, where people get baptized, and so they already have everything that they need, and they don't need to get baptized in the Holy Spirit. So people that don't believe uh, in baptism of the Holy Spirit, they say that that's, you know, that's when that happened. And that is correct. That's what happened. That's the new birth. But Jesus did not ba baptize them in the, in the Holy Spirit until after he left, and, you know, after a certain time has passed by. So when he was alive, the only thing that they received was the new birth. And then when he left, that's when the baptism of the Holy Spirit came. And so that's two separate events. And so um, once I learned that, it really helped me understand the difference. So one event was the new birth, when we get the full package, and we talked a lot about this before, that you get the fullness of Christ, and everything that comes with him comes with him. And then there's the baptism of the Holy Spirit, when the power, it says, where you're endued with the power from on high. That's the part, that's the baptism of the Holy Spirit. 